So having a kid, I, I just had my first kid three years ago. So I was 37 when I had my first kid, which I realized is probably basically unthinkable to you. Yeah, so for sure. I've wasted half my life not procreating. It's really fun, though. <laughs> it's really fun. Well, making the kid is fun. <laughs> Changing diapers for three years. Right, let's put it like this. Let's put less it like fun. This. At the beginning, at the beginning, is 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 bullshit. Mm. I when they get older though, I right, lit. You gonna live it? Oh yeah, yeah. You gonna live it? The older live they get, live. like my kid being three, and I can actually talk to her, go for a walk around the block, do whatever. Like that. That's fun. When you first have the kid, it's just like, <laughs> oh no. Like I, this is like it's a constant emergency. Of like something you're not gonna live unless I'm on top of whatever you're doing at all times. That's how it is. That's why I be telling the mama, man, we had the babies, you know, and you hear me, just bring it to me when they learn how to walk. <laughs> so you don't like to spend too much time with them before that? I be busy. Mm. I, I'm gonna get the money right there. You hear me? Down, uh, uh. Holly me when they can walk. Cause if they can't walk, I can't do nothing with them. Right. You hear me? Right now, I need them to walk. <laughs> they just dropped off in the house. They stay in the house, go to the studio. You feel me? I was always here that Donald Trump was like that, too, that he didn't give a f about his kids until they were old enough to talk. <laughs> then he would start fing with them. I got Donald Trump bias in <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that, though. He's kind of like a psychopath in the same way that I think you probably are. It's like, you know, you you... It's, it's hard for you to really care about the kid or, like, want to be there. when Because I'll be real, like, you don't really have a lot to do for, like, the first year. Like, nah, nah. you keep the kid alive, but as a dad, I mean, the kid wants the f***ing mom's yeah, breast right. milk. They want, this would, they would make it easy, you feel me, when you're a dad. Like, when the kid first come out, like, the first year or two, like, it really ain't even for the dad. You feel me? Like, for the mama. You feel me? Then you get into it after that. Like, you can't do none. You can't breastfeed. <laughs> right. You can't do none of that. So what you, you feel me? My kid's three and still to this day, she wants the mom to do everything. Oh, yeah. You know? They have me. I got to try to make myself useful, but at the end of the day, it's like me putting the kid to sleep is kind of a joke compared to my girl putting the kid to sleep because all she wants to do is suck the b <laughs> until she falls asleep, you know? <laughs> it's crying. It's crying right there. Yeah, it's real shit. This is real fatherly hours right here. But uh, okay, so <laughs> you you have the first kid, and then I mean, how much time are you really spending with the kid? Because now having twenty kids, I mean, you can't do shit, I, right? Like you can't really focus on one of them all that much, right? You gotta just kind of have them all around. Yeah, but like like I was telling you, I'm like I just tell the mama to bring. I got a big house in Atlanta, so really just drop them out. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And they good. It's me, my partner, and my pop. You feel me? Somebody there. You feel me? You ain't want, they good. They around there. They was like, nothing around there they can get into. They's going to be dangerous. That ain't nothing but a big old playhouse. I'm a kid myself. You feel me? Right. So, so it, the really baby, be, it really be easy for me. The baby mama start fighting and shit? Or? <laughs> and they be on and off. I ain't going to lie. They be on and off. But the majority of the time, everybody cool. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Everybody legit. Now, when you're a player, you ain't got to worry about this situation. Right. You know, we take care of your being. But they still probably fight, right? It's got to be like a baddies <laughs> episode in there from time to time, right? I need to have me a TV show with all my baby mom and my kids. Mm. Okay, but so you have one kid. Are you kind of like, oh, f I better not have another one? Or were you like, nah. oh, no, I'm going to just keep going? Nah, I ain't going to lie. When I first had my first child, she was, it was my oldest, it was my oldest girl. I really wanted a boy bad. Mm. So I tried again. Right after that, I'm talking about right after that with another female, uh, another girl. So you tried, like you you finished inside her on purpose. You're like, I'm gonna oh, yeah. make oh, a child. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in rubbers. Really? No, nah. I don't believe in rubbers either. I mean, kids, y'all should wear rubbers, but I personally, yeah, yeah, kids should wear rubbers. If I was a single man right now. Any girl I met, I would just be like, you got to get tested. I'm not, <laughs> like, I'll see you in a couple of days. Like, I, I just, I can't wear a f***ing rubber. It don't work I feel like I'd rather, I'd rather, I, I go, out, I go out by a female than a nigga, for sure. Wait, what? i go out by a female than a, somebody kill me, for sure. Oh, really? You feel me? Like, you only got one life to live. Yeah, I mean. I don't, so, I, don't I use a rubber. How, you know people with AIDS? I don't feel like a lot of people nah, got no. These days, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I personally never met nobody. Right? Right. I don't know if they did or they had. I never, they never told me they or been around nobody who had. So I just see this shit on TV, right? You feel me? 
I, I mean, yeah, uh, it's definitely just like a hard thing to imagine. I grew up like at a younger time than you. So it's like, I remember just being on TV and the news constantly. They're always trying to make you scared that you were going to yeah. die. For and I remember like the first couple of chicks that I f raw, <laughs> I was terrified that I was going to get it. He said, I was terrified. I was like, really thought like just me putting my d on this girl for two minutes. I ain't going to lie. I think I thought about that the first 10 minutes when I first had sex. But after that, it was over with. But you don't got to work. You just got to pull out. It's hard to pull out. I know, it does feel good in there, but you just got to do it. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, we pull it out sometimes, but you know, pre, <laughs> pre day, pre day, every day, ain't crazy. Like, I think I, I don't know what I'd be. I think I'll eat something I eat or something I eat or something. Right. I don't miss. You probably, maybe, you think maybe. I don't miss it. I don't. But maybe you have a leaky faucet. Maybe even if you don't pull out, you got like a problem. Yeah, that's probably. I need mean, yeah, my my grandma be telling me to go get a uh, bisectomy. <laughs> I mean, after twenty kids, I feel like that is a very reasonable idea. Now I won't fit it though. I won't fit. If I get a bisectomy, if I have to get a bisectomy coming on to it, I gotta have fifty kids. All right, I'm gonna tell you what they say about future. I've heard I've, I've seen people on Twitter just saying future's a f monster because he's got all these kids, and you're ultimately just creating broken black homes. No. No? No. You mean, they making robots and stuff right now. I didn't put it like this. All right. They making robots, all these other AI. All, they trying to really get rid of us. Who? The government. The government's trying to get rid of black people or just people? Everybody. Right. They coming up with robots. They got other, they got, we ain't, we ain't finna be having to work no more. You mean they can have robots doing that? We see it on TV every day. But don't you feel like a lot of the kids at the end of the day are kind of growing up without a father figure really being nah, super you present? No, you we should, that's for the people who don't be there. You feel me? Like, I ain't that person. So you are around. You're spreading uh, yeah, the love it's, sure. it's probably It's probably eight of my kids in my house, eight, nine of my kids in my house right now. Really? You feel me? And before I left, before I left, I just sent my dad to go get three of my kids from Memphis to bring up to them. Wow. That's insane. Honestly, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around. Me and my girl. I'm, I'm a big child myself. I don't know sit at the house, play the game, go to the studio every day. You feel me? Right. Like, I got too many other operations that give me paper, so you feel me? Everybody straight one. Like, it ain't really hard. Okay, let's say each kid costs $1,000 a month, which from my perspective seems kind of low, but let's say it's $1,000. You got to make twenty thousand dollars a month just to break even on the kids' side that. of thing. It's easy to do that. Not for most people. Yes, it is. They just don't. Yeah, they just don't don't want to go out and do it. Okay, it's but easy. too much a, money out here. A quarter million dollars a year is like you know like five percent of people are like right, two look, percent of people it, are going to make that like much. This, put it like this. Minimum wage is paying you what now? What thousand? I mean, you know, you probably get a ticket two weeks and you in minimum wage working at McDonald's, you probably get about fifteen hundred. I think if you if you work full time minimum wage, you might make like forty eight thousand dollars a year or some shit. I remember doing the math. You no, know, go back. higher. How, how, Maybe how a little more. Minimum wage in there? I actually have no idea. It's different all over the country too. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. Okay. I grew up working for five bucks an hour. And I, feel I mean, like it's, it's a lot of things to do right. This is what I'm saying. This ain't back then. It's a lot of things to do right now, and everybody doing it right now. Right. You know, on YouTube, make money. Mm. You can go. You can say water make the link is making money. You feel me? It's right. no excuses. You Shout feel out to the water boys. Me? So if you feel like you for the nut up in the female to have a baby, if you feel like you ain't, if you can't do this, why are you even doing it? Mm. That's how I look at so it. when you pulled up to that dirty glove bastard interview years ago with fifty girls, was that were, were any of them your actual baby mamas? A couple of them. <laughs> a couple of them became baby mamas after that, or they just already were. I don't even want to put that people out there like that. I'm gonna leave. We gonna leave that no comment. <laughs> wow, that's crazy.